in today's time whether you are an automation test engineer or developer you must know git but why because in today's time you have to understand the code and for understanding the code there are different team members who are working on different different parts of code right and that different different parts of code you must have at one place in order to collaborate so in coding if you wanted to collaborate git is the very common and popular distributed version control system which is used to collaborate in code in this video we are going to cover what are different operations in git which you must know as an automation test engineer if you are starting your career or you are already experienced person but you are preparing for an interview and you don't know how much i should cover so in this video we are going to cover that how much git is enough or if you learn whatever i am telling that should be more than sufficient to use git in your day to day life as an automation test engineer Hi, my name is Amit Tripathi and I have more than 9 years of working experience in IT industry and automation testing you know. and I keep on making videos on career, automation testing, latest trends and technologies and of course AI in automation testing. So if you haven't subscribed the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and share the video if you like at the end. Okay, so let's come on the screen. We are going to discuss Git operations you must know as an automation testers. So first and foremost, you should be aware uh, about what are the commands or you know what are Git commands which you are going to use with repository. Okay, so for example, you should be aware how to create a repository in any remote repository. And if you have already one repository because you know, there may be chances that already there are repositories available and from there you wanted to take that latest code on your system and then eventually start working so you also should be aware what how to take pull and or taking latest code from the repository okay the third thing is pushing the code to local repository so if you don't know that you know you already worked on the code and now you wanted to push your code or you know merge your code in the local repository or to the remote repository so you should be aware about those as well okay so this first part was related to the repository creation and working with the repository as such now coming to the second part which is working with branch okay so what is branch basically uh, when you are you know working on a particular uh, code base and somebody wanted to work on top of that particular code base that's where you know branching strategy comes into picture in git so if you are not aware how branching and how this remote repositories and all works so i will recommend one of the videos in uh, my playlist where i have explained git from the scratch if you are very new and don't understand how this great git and all works then uh, you can check out this video and um, and I'll share the link in the description as well so you can go and check out that as well so working with the branch you must be aware how to create a branch how to check out a branch so what is check out basically so selecting the current branch uh, you know on which you are going to work is called as check out in git okay so the third thing is merging a branch once you are done with your uh, work in a particular branch you wanted to merge the code in the previous branch where from where you have taken this code then you can uh, you know you should be aware about merging the uh, branch next thing is deleting a branch so once you are uh, your work is done and you are all done with the uh, you know your task on the particular branch you can check uh, you must be aware about how to delete a branch because unnecessarily keeping a branch uh, that will make unnecessary you know garbage in the uh, repository uh, tree so that's why uh, it is good to have uh, deletion also so next is resolving merge conflicts this is one of the most you know uh, i would say sometime tedious process uh, where you have to merge the conflicts so let me explain what is merge conflict basically so let's suppose you know you have worked on a particular code 
and on the same line same file somebody else has also worked in the same uh, code okay and then you both are going to merge that code in a single uh, branch then what will happen the git will uh, git will tell that okay uh, at this point of uh, at this line there is another code and and at this line there is another code so there are two separate code bases available or line of code available so how what do you think whether you wanted to keep both of them whether you wanted to keep your uh, changes or the other changes so that part you know resolving that merge conflict basically uh, is called resolving merge conflict in the branches so you should be aware what are the conflicts while merging code understand which code you want and which one is not and then merging a branch into the uh, main branch or from where you have taken this branch out okay so last then uh, merging the code into the branch okay so that was all i think uh, if you know this much then that will be more than enough uh, to understand how git works there are other commands as well like uh, rebase fetch so all those commands are there so if you are knowing the commands that is good but uh, you know if you are knowing from the ide uh, you know if you are using uh, visual studio or you is using eclipse or intellij then you should be knowing how to do it using intellij or you know any ide so if you are knowing that 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 is more than enough if you don't know the commands as such uh, uh, that is also fine but uh, you know if you are aware that is good okay so that was all in this video if you like this information please make sure to hit the like button and share this video with your friends who don't who are not aware uh, how much is uh, you know they require in git and also if you haven't subscribed the channel please make sure to subscribe because i am going to bring lot many videos which are related to the ai in automation testing what we need to do and what are latest trends and all those things so if you haven't subscribed please make sure to subscribe because uh, there are other videos and uh, you know ai is evident and it is coming in automation testing so if you wanted to keep yourself updated with the latest trends what are the things which are coming in ai please make sure to subscribe and share it with other as well thank you amit ripathi signing off